ditching her to go save the world. And rather than like, I was gonna say he came out as homo. No, um, I probably wish. No, I, I really like them together. And the only but person they would have gay like, relations with is uh, Johnny. But what if it was like Spider Man and instead of Mary Jane it was like Marty Jane? No, that's weird. No, I, I'm okay with him and Johnny Storm and having Gordon. sex. Why? I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> so, um, they got to a certain point where Ultimate Comics had now been going for like 10 years. And so they kind of did what a reboot point um, where they basically killed off most of the characters. Um, it was called Ultimatum. Spider Man actually survived that, although they made you think he might have died, um, but he didn't. But um, they went a little bit longer and then they killed them off in a really cool way, and it was really sad and like tragic. Um, but he died fighting all of his villains at once and saving Gwen Stacy, Aunt May, and Mary Jane, and um, Johnny, and Bobby's lives all at once. Um, although Mary Jane did help by driving a truck into the Green Goblin, a semi. <laughs> But, um, he died, and, like, his last words were, I couldn't save Uncle Ben, but I saved you. And it was really sad, but, um... Peter Parker's died twice? This is an uh, ultimate version. It's a different universe. Why are there two versions of spider I already explained that. No. So it's a different universe. And after, they had a big... After that, everyone found out that Peter Parker was just this 17-year-old kid who constantly saved the world and saved all these people and risked his life a million times. And they had this huge funeral for him and stuff. And meanwhile, Miles' story kind of co-went over that. Um, his dad, his dad's brother, his uncle, um, was a thief known as the Prowler and was actually a Spider-Man villain. And he had stolen one of the spiders from um, Oscorp, that one of the ones that bit Peter, but a different one. And so then it didn't bite him, but it's the same type. Of no, spider. yeah, exactly. One of the other ones because they engineered multiple ones each with different abilities and powers. Okay. Um, and he stole one of them, and his nephew happened to be at his house when he stole it, because he came visiting his uncle, and he got bit by the spider. And he developed his powers, but he didn't know what to do or think about it. And then after Peter's death, he felt guilty, because he had the same powers as Peter, and same abilities and stuff, and he didn't do anything with them. And he kind of felt like if maybe he had been like a hero, he could have helped Peter live and stuff. And so he went to the funeral, and he talked to Gwen Stacy, and tried to talk to Aunt May, and they kind of told him why Peter did it. And she mentioned, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. And he realized he had the power to be a hero, so he needed to do what was right, even though he's a really young kid. Um, he's only like 14, right? So, the new Spider-Man is a 14-year-old... Like, so he's a good one. Kind of. He's actually a really good kid, though, and he's a really likable um, character. And he's actually fairly, like... He's still learning, and it's fun to see, like, a flawed character not knowing what to do and he's stuff. He's learning because he's in, like, junior high school. Well, I mean, like, as far as his powers and stuff, <laughs> and how to deal with supervillains and stuff. And it's really a cool character, and I actually, like, we just finished basically his first year. Um, so, like, it's been, like, well, I guess it's been around two years now. But, yeah, he's, like, 20 issues in, 